Hello, Z here. We're gonna react to that vegan teacher? <laughs> I don't know anything about this person, um, but when I looked up that vegan teacher through Google, apparently it's some kind of TikToker that was banned, but uh, we'll get to that in a bit. First, I want to actually learn about that vegan teacher, so if you don't know, learn it with me. This is a recommendation from Manny, so thanks for that. <laughs> let's just, let's see what this, uh, this video is all about. Hello, students. Today, we're going to look at this book, How to Talk So Kids Will Listen and Listen So Kids Will Talk. This will be a good video whether you are a kid or a parent or a grandparent or actually anybody. Uh, I don't know about so that. Speaking that will help to get what you want without insulting the person personally. So here, look, it says describe. Describe what you see or describe the problem. So instead of doing this, you should do this. You're so irresponsible. You always start the tub and then forget about it. Do you want us to have a flood? So then the kid feels bad. Instead of doing that, you could say, Johnny, the water in the bathtub is getting close to the top. And then what do you think Johnny will do? Hopefully Johnny will go and turn off the water. Let's look at another one. Instead of, you haven't taken that dog out all day, you don't deserve to have a pet. That makes the person feel bad. Instead of saying it that way, you could say it this way. I see Rover pacing up and down near the door. And then, hopefully, the child or the teenager... <laughs> that person still looks pissed off. <laughs> that person still looks like she's about to slap you in the fucking jaw. <laughs> what do you guys think so far? I think this is boring as fuck. Read to you guys. Fuck this video. This is boring as hell. Let me find something better. This must not be what like people wanted me to watch. All right, I went to the most popular videos, and this is one of them. So, hey, everybody on YouTube, watch her talk shit while I talk shit about her. I guess I don't know. I don't know. Named Daz something just did a video about me, and there's five Daz something five million viewers that he has or fans. So 1.4 million people just now heard him talking about veganism. Yeah, and of course, oh, of course, he said he hates me and he hates my ukulele, and um, he doesn't like. <laughs> okay, what other what other things did he say about me? Um, <laughs> that maybe that wasn't funny, but just someone being like, "Yeah, he hates me and he hates my stupid fucking ukulele." <laughs> the... So hopefully, what that means is all the other vegan and more rights activists will jump in and take. over hopefully what that means is excuse me what'd she say all the other vegan and more rights activists i must be mishearing her hold on they heard him talking about veganism so hopefully what that means is all the other vegan and more rights activists let me turn on transcription because i'm i i must be hearing the wrong thing close captions all the all the what they heard him talking about veganism so hopefully what that means is all the other vegan and more rights activists will okay 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 <clears throat> I was hearing something way different. I, I was hearing something about some N-word. Yeah, because everybody's at their heart a nice person, right? Fuck no. What are you talking about? Alright, so this woman is vegan. I got that from the title. But she, there's something about her that is wrong, right? So let me find this out. Let me go watch one of her vegan tutorial or talking videos. This has something to do with V. Wait, maybe I shouldn't watch this one. I don't want to get into politics. Load fucking dumbass video. Why the fuck aren't you vegan yet, Mr. President Trump? Ooh. Is it because you're stuck on the toilet trying hard to push out a dump? <clears throat> Manny, what the fuck did you try to make me watch here, dude? What the fuck are you making me watch here, dude? You think I want to see this? <laughs> you think I want to see this shit? What the fuck? What? What is this? Who is this person? When you become an ethical vegan, I guarantee you will, 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 you'll no longer be full of poo.
I don't. I don't know if I can do this. This is fucking. This is hard to watch. I don't know, dude. And that's when I'll vote for you. Ew! Ew, dude! The way she fucking rubbed on that banana. Ooh. Okay. Different video, please. Jesus Christ. Okay, so this one looks like it's a bit more of a her talking about veganism. So let's check this one out. Hi, students. This is just a reminder Ugh. that cow's milk is for baby cows. It's not for us. Oh, fuck you. I drink that shit. Pig milk is good. Pigs. Good, Pigs tasty. Cats. Chocolate milk. Mm. Human milk is for humans. Cow milk is for cows. I ain't drinking no fucking human milk. In his video that he did, this guy JD films or something. I watched only six minutes and five seconds of it. Well, I'm about to watch only six minutes and five seconds of you. Don't get to the point. I don't have time, frankly, to look at his whole video. What veganism is actually about is to not inflict harm on animals. So, it man, see, this is what I don't. I ain't gonna hate on vegans. They can do whatever the fuck they want. I don't really give a shit. But here's the thing I don't get. You think if the animals, like, let's say fucking bears, or the rulers of the fucking world, like we are, <laughs> you think they would be like, yeah, let's just eat some fucking berries. <laughs> Fuck no. They'd be eating every person they see. But the reality is that when I show that frustration, those videos often get shown a lot. And so then people see the vegan message more. So, you know, I'm just like... All right, we're getting to the fucking, we're getting the fucking points. We are like FBI, CIA, secret agents. We're getting to the fucking stuff. Okay. So she does aggressive vegan videos. I haven't seen any though. I've only seen cringy ones. And her TikTok is banned, so I can't do anything about her. <laughs> and I don't have TikTok any fucking ways. And I wouldn't get it. Another. Cow's milk is for baby cows. I'm gonna put this on my cow's bed. milk is for me. I'll drink that shit. It's more important in the world is how we're treating these poor innocent animals on factory farms. I want to notice people who are creating vegan content, who are explaining about health, who are explaining about the animals, who are doing undercover footage, these kind of things to help get the world to be vegan. Who are good. Do you, does this woman think that the animals don't eat each other? Because they do. Animals definitely eat each other. So, oh, if you want the world to be vegan, you're gonna have a hard time, a very hard time, explaining to your fucking dog why it can't eat the rest of the fucking beef off the plate. <laughs> and, uh, believe it or not, humans are animals. Oh no, dude. I don't know about that one, dude. Fuck. Is this supposed to be cringe content? Is this supposed to be cringe content? Why do you want me to watch cringe? Watching cringe? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Why? I need a break. I need a break. Okay. Rice and seeds. And yes, we get enough protein. I mean, just look at us. We're growing like we. Yes, we're vegan kids, but we're not that crazy after all. I can't watch anymore. Sorry. KFC is time to change your name. <laughs> what am I gonna change it to? Kentucky Fried Cucumber. Thank you all so much for having me to stay here today at this very Oh my god! Vegan barbecue right here at KFC. Isn't the food 
you just wonderful. Thank y'all so much for this gift here. Fits me perfectly. You even spelt my name right. That's amazing. Are you enjoying the fried green tomatoes, the okra, and the plant? Uh. Tofu chicken? Isn't that just delicious? Well, let's sing, shall we? KFC, we're so happy to be going cruelty free and changing our name to Kentucky Fried Compassion. KFC, we're so proud of you, CEO Mr. Tony Lowering. I'm actually zoning out. I'm just staring at the logo on my TV right now because I can't. I can't muster the fucking power to watch this and focus on it. I hate TikTok. Oh my god. Himself for agreeing to start phasing in a 100% vegan menu. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, they recommended me some fucking good mythical more it says sloppy joes <laughs> yeah that's what they think of your fucking videos you goddamn idiot and i'm done i can't do it anymore dude or i can't animals are not ours to eat wear or use yeah i wear leather that is that every time you go in the grocery store it's your responsibility to not put any products that contain animals in your shopping cart. When you go to a restaurant, same thing. Order everything else on the menu. Don't buy leather. Let me uh, put on one of my five leather jackets I got sitting right next to me. Alright, wearing my leather jacket now. One of them. Let's uh, continue to watch this. Your responsibility is not to pay for somebody else to be harmed. Animals want their own skin. They want their lives. They want their freedom. And we're talking about using them. Can you think of some ways that people use animals? Mm. Is it okay to ride sexual pleasure? <laughs> horses? No, it's not. I know that sounds radical and a lot. Oh, shut the fuck up. Ma'am. Man, you made me want to play Red Dead. I want to play some more Red Dead 2. Those horses get treated so fucking good, dude. I swear to God. You ever been to a fucking farm? Probably not. You're probably just talking about it because you have this fucking a radical ideal of how other people treat animals from the propaganda that you watch. Let me tell you something. People that own horses do not treat them bad, <laughs> generally. I've seen a lot of people that uh, own horses, like, around here, and, um, they get treated pretty fucking good. <laughs> what about when you go to SeaWorld? What do you see at SeaWorld? Um, you're not wrong on that. There's a whole documentary about it. Alright, we're closing out with this one, then. Wow, what an amazing society you have. Check it out. Look what these carnists on this app are capable of. Such creativity using the dead bodies of innocent baby pigs who died begging for their lives after their mother and father were raped in order for them to be born in the first place. Raped? And their mother kept in a tight, tight, confined space, so tight she couldn't turn around or even see her babies at birth. And then the babies put on these trucks, freezing cold, terrified, and brought to gas chambers, or have their throats slit. Golly gee, we live in such a great society, don't we? Let's teach children to follow along with this. Oh, let's not bother breaking the cycle. Okay, now I get it. <clears throat> this is the video that made me get it. She's likening... <laughs> she's likening animal cruelty to uh, the Holocaust. <laughs> I don't think animals are getting raped on farms and put in gas chambers. I'm pretty sure they just get breeded with other animals, not human animals, and then uh, slaughtered for meat, which then we eat because it is delicious and protein rich and fuck you. Don't follow those vegan chefs or vegan cooks. 
I mean, they are just serving, you know, healthy foods, cruelty-free foods. I say we all just keep on supporting this guy, don't you? That's a... Uh, what the fuck? What is this? I is something wrong. You look sad about something. My dog Bella died a few days ago. I don't know why, but I posted it on my TikTok, and everyone was mad at me and told me I was the cause. Why did they think you were the cause? Because I made her go vegan, but thoughts- You f- This is what it fucking is. Hold up. We're not done. We're not done. Nature is powerful and strange, and we must try as hard as possible not to interfere with nature. So I will try to live in harmony with these wasps somehow. Hi everyone, this is Bella and this is a stick that she wants to go and get. Bella is a vegan dog. She has been vegan since August No, she's fucking stupid. Now I get it. This is what I was talking about earlier. No way. Yeah, so she made her dog vegan. And then the dog fucking died, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, you're a fucking idiot now. I was like, okay, you're not totally wrong on all this shit. I'm taking the piss out of you, but you're not entirely wrong. Because the scenario she puts up, while well, highly fucking exaggerated. And, you know, made to sound worse than they are. They are pretty fucking shitty. Animals do get treated really bad on farms like that, but you're, this is what I said from the get-go, animals eat each other because it is instinctual and they fucking have to. We have to. We gotta eat other animals. We can't fucking, I don't, I don't know, there's arguments to be made, but then it usually comes down to you have to supplement to get all the fucking nutrition, You and, you know, from a natural point of view, we shouldn't supplement. We should just eat the fucking meat, right? So, you don't put your fucking dog on a diet, a vegan diet. No. Fuck you, you hook nose bitch. Dumbass person. You killed that sweet little dog. Man, fuck you. Now you got me mad. I was, like, just fucking around with you. But you killed your fucking dog, you dumb bitch. You dumb, anorexic looking bitch looking like Eugenia Cooney, dumbass fool. With your fucking hook nose, crooked teeth, bad eyesight. Yeah, I bet them carrots didn't make you see very well, you stupid bitch. Fuck you. Put that banana you were holding for Donald Trump up your pussy, you fucking crook. Old hag. Your fucking skin's made of leather. Alright. Now this bitch got me mad. So I better just fucking... I'm gonna turn off the video. Edit this. And not think about her. Because now she pissed me off. And now you killed your fucking dog. And that that's what we got issues. You don't love his animals as much as you think you do, huh? Dumb bitch. You don't know what's best for other people. Oh, fuck you. A Todd, I got a Todd Howard jacket, by the way. This Todd Howard jacket's nice. Hmm. Yeah, fuck this bitch.